And we start today there in Seattle's Beacon Hill neighborhood where a man armed with a pitchfork is now in custody after breaking into a home. Thank you for joining us. I'm Hannah Kim. And I'm David Rose. Police say that suspect weaponized the gardening tool and injured the homeowner. But that homeowner was able to fight back with his own unusual weapon. The suspect and his pitchfork met his match with the homeowner. Fox 13's Frankie Thompson here with more on the details of what he armed himself with. Frankie? Seattle police here at the South Precinct arrested the suspect who used that pitchfork to gouge the eye of a man he's accused of burglarizing. In the battle of a pitchfork versus a samurai sword, the pitchfork lost, locked up in the back of a Seattle police patrol car after a homeowner throttled a burglary. My house has been burglarized. He this, was he was inside my house. Right there? He was inside my house and he attacked me with a pitchfork. This is bizarre. It's not you know a common occurrence. It happened Sunday afternoon on this street in Seattle's Beacon Hill neighborhood. Officials say the suspect, 61-year-old Elroy Holden, broke a window and ransacked a home while the 71-year-old owner was away buying groceries. When the owner returned, the, the front door was open. Both front doors were open, and he was in the living room. Uh, they actually started fighting, um, and during the fight, the victim was held to the ground while the suspect tried to stab him with a pitchfork. In the fight for his life, court documents say when the homeowner went to his bedroom to retrieve his gun, the defendant followed him and tried to wrestle it from the victim. The victim's gun jammed when he tried to fire it. The homeowner then reached for his next weapon. Okay. I grabbed the samurai sword and defended myself with the samurai sword. And stabbed the suspect. Um, after this, the suspect ran outside to a nearby residence, and that's when officers arrived and were able to detain him. The King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office rushed filed a charge for burglary in the first degree against Holden. Whenever you see allegations like this, it's a concern. This is somebody who we charged uh, immediately when we got the case after a thorough review. Neighbors on this street say it's not the first time the homeowner has stood his ground battling burglars. Fox 13 News was live outside the home October 6, 2021, after police say three burglar suspects were on the property. At least one person was shot here in the 2100 block of Beacon Avenue South. Two people are in custody right now. Police say in any suspicious situation, the safest option is to call for help. Think about your safety. Get to a safe location, call 911, uh, wait for the arrival of police so that we can make sure the location or whatever the circumstances uh, that it is safe and that, you know, that there is no harm that comes to you or potentially others. King County prosecutors say the suspect is currently charged for criminal trespassing in Spokane. A court set his bail for $150,000 in this case. Reporting in Seattle, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.